In India, the definitive film is a film called Shole, which happened to be directed by my father. Uh, it was out in August 1975, and uh, the, that, that was the time of magnetic six-track prints, uh, 70 mm prints that, that ran the stereo. And the, f the six, five tracks were across the front. You had five speakers in the front and one th speaker at the back. That was the split of the surround at that time. And uh, the film is on a, a really grand scale, so there's incredible use of sound both the effects, the musical score, all of that. But there's this one particular moment in the film which is right at the climax of the film when one of the major characters uh, sees his best friend has been killed trying to save him. And uh, there's, a, there's a coin that's extremely important in the film. He takes it out of his friend's hand uh, and he swears revenge on the guy who did this. And he throws the coin uh, and when the coin uh, they used the surround at that point and, 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 and so you're sitting in the cinema and you literally hear that coin and, 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 and there have been millions of Indians who have been looking under their seats <laughs> for where that coin went. My dad actually was a little upset by that because at that, that moment was not meant to distract you to some extent but I think it's settled down since then it's, it's become again one of those part of the emotional memories that we all carry together in this, this but it just suddenly opened up a dimension that wow sound could be this way you know so that would definitely be the most defining use of I think surround at, in, in the first film that used it in India.